September wholesale used vehicle prices continued to slide. Cox Automotive reported prices were 3% lower in September than the same time last year when the index stood at 204.8. It's the first time since May 2020 wholesale values declined year over year. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal, and we have got a brief used car update for you on the agenda. Wholesale used vehicle prices tumbled once again in September, marking another month of cumulative price declines that have defined the wholesale market in 2022. Cox Automotive said Friday that wholesale prices declined 3% in September compared with August. The Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index, an indicator of used vehicle market pricing trends, declined from 210.8 in August to 204.5 in September. Cox Automotive reported prices were only slightly lower in September than the same time last year, and that's when the index was at 204.8. It's the first time since May 2020 wholesale values declined year over year, according to Cox Automotive. Those numbers are adjusted for mix, mileage, and seasonality. On a non-adjusted basis, the index fell 2.1% in September from August level, with prices down 2.3% year over year. And then the truth hits hard. Vehicles are once again depreciating assets. Cox Automotive Chief Economist Jonathan Smoke said in a news release, As we look at the cumulative decline this year, we are down significantly and now expect to finish the year down nearly 14% in December. So, there's a tip in there, folks. If you're looking for a used car and looking for some price relief, wait until December. It's going to be a very cold winter in the car business. That's right. Cox Automotive hasn't seen declines like this since the onset of the pandemic and the beginning of the Great Recession. Smoke added, well, it's not quite that dramatic. <laughs> also, prices declined in the first quarter of 2022 then continued falling on a milder scale and picked up a steam and became a bit more accelerated the last two months, said Chris Frey, Cox Automotive Senior Manager of Economic and Industry Insights. Our expectation is that depreciation over the next three months will be slower and lower than what we've seen this past quarter, Chris Frey said during a quarterly call discussing the Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index results. Used retail sales took a hit falling 8% in September from August. Sales were down 10% compared with September 2021 and down 18% from September 2019, according to Cox Automotive. Now listen to this. Average wholesale prices for three-year-old vehicles, the largest model year cohort at Mannheim's auctions, fell 2.5% during the last four weeks alone. Cox estimated used vehicle retail supply stood at 48 days at the end of September. That was down from 51 days at the end of August, but up from 41 days in September 2021. Wholesale supply ended September at 27 days, down one day from August, but higher than 19 days in September 2021. Black Book, which maintains a second indicator of wholesale pricing trends, the Used Vehicle Retention Index, also said the market saw continued declines through September. And there's some agreement between the Black Book and Cox Automotive. That index fell 4.1% in September from August. It lost 7.5 points, falling to 176.5 points in September, Black Book said on Wednesday. But it reported that the September index number is still up 4.1% from where it was September 2021 and up 54% from where it was March 2020. Still up from where it was, wholesale prices for two to eight year old vehicle segments that make up the index fell further in September to reach nearly 1% per week. Hmm. Black Book Chief Data Science Officer Alex Yurchenko said in a news release. Yurchenko also said, we expect wholesale prices to continue their decline through the last quarter of 2022 at a slightly lower rate compared to September. Used retail prices also began modest declines in the last several weeks. There you have it, folks. Modest declines. So don't pop the champagne just yet. If you need a newer used car, remember what Jonathan Smoke said. We expect to finish to the year down nearly 14% in December. Give the market time to tumble down a bit further because there is more coming. Relief that is not coming is reduced prices for fuel. The moment the elections pass, no matter who wins, we see a straight up climb coming. You think fuel prices were bad before now? Now is the time to invest in some X caps. And if you're driving a semi truck, especially you owner operators out there, Jump on the MPG Crumbs offer of 10 vials treating 1,200 gallons of fuel for one nineteen ninety five. It's very common for semi-trucks to go from 5.5 miles per gallon to 6.2 or 6.4 or even higher. Yeah. If you have questions about the X-CAP and how it can boost your fuel economy, or maybe you're wondering if your vehicle is a good candidate for the X-CAP, email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text to 701-441-3399. We have a big customer database, so we know what works, and we promise you a straight-up answer.
Helping the average vehicle owner like you is what we've been doing for 13 straight years. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to the family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful followers out there. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We gotta go.